Hello, I'm Richard Anderson. 75 years ago, the ground I'm standing on was productive farmland. After just three generations of farming, the rich black topsoil that covered this ground for thousands of years has vanished like so much dust in the wind. From the very first time the prairie sod was broken up and turned over, the natural cycle of soil creation was interrupted. The land was not so much farmed as it was mined. Each year, more topsoil disappeared than was created. But this is not the story of the failure of a single farm or of one region's failure to manage its soil resource. Across the globe, the world's agriculture faces a growing crisis. The four greatest food producing countries, the United States, the USSR, China, and India, are losing topsoil at the rate of 13.2 billion tons a year. The Soviet Union probably leads the world in soil loss. While still a member of the Politburo, Mikhail Gorbachev urged Soviet planters to heed the warnings of Russia's soil scientists. Winds sweeping across northern China now carry away so much topsoil that scientists at observatories in Mauna Loa, Hawaii, can tell when spring plowing starts in North China. India now estimates that 60% of its cropland is eroding excessively. Sediment from soil erosion is the single greatest pollutant of the world's lakes and streams. Scientists studying sediment samples estimate that soil carried to the ocean has increased from 9 billion tons a year before man began to cultivate the land to over 27 billion tons today. Multi-purpose dams, often the centerpieces of third world development strategies, are filling up with sediments at rates never dreamed of by their planters. The Magla Reservoir in Pakistan will be filled 25 years sooner than expected. In Africa, the death of the soil has become pandemic. Millions of people have been forced to leave land that will no longer feed them. The specter of the African experience is now haunting the very heartland of America. 200 million acres are undergoing severe desertification. Almost half of all U.S. cropland is losing topsoil at a rate faster than it is created. We have been taught to believe that agriculture will continue to keep finding ways to be ever more productive. But the rate at which world agricultural productivity increases has begun to flatten. In many areas, productivity has actually begun to drop. Each year, the total number of acres available for cultivation gets smaller. In the next few minutes, we'll be examining this problem and the global search for solutions. But first, let's look at how topsoil, that most precious of resources, works. <laughs> 